Good old team. Hope everybody's uh, well on this, uh, I suppose, lovely weekend. Lovely weekend for everybody. Start of the week here in New Zealand. Just checking on all our bits and pieces, uh, ready to rock and roll, basically. I think we look good. I think we're going to be ready to rock and roll. There it is. We've got Ronnie. Ronnie's here. Ah, right. I just got to make sure we're on the right one. Cool. Okay. G'day, team. Um, welcome back for another week. Another week. Um, we are just going to do a little bit longer pieces than we normally do. Um, just in some good area, good technique, good rhythm. Okay. A couple of minutes off in between. So we've got the three 12 minute pieces. Starting everything pretty low. Um, We'll get up there, not not too much. Um, so it is really just another good, uh, good rhythm session. Okay, just finding a good groove. Okay, but for the for the sort of the twelve minutes long, we're normally under that twelve minute time, which I quite like. Um, but today I thought let's uh, in my week especially, I'm just looking at doing a uh, little bit more fitness work this week um, rather than sort of any uh, high intensity stuff. So this is what we're gonna do, okay? Um, main focus today is just really, really looking to work our hang, okay? Um, we're gonna look at this, the hang and our sequence and stuff like that, just really trying to hone it in, okay? We wanna, we wanna really just get this, this feeling of, as we're driving the legs, the legs are pushing the body, okay? Um, and so ultimately, it's very easy to try and think about it at just a low rate, sort of low pressure, whatever, but we have to just start creating that that rhythm. And once once we've got a bit more flow with the bodies and we're coming forward with a little bit of speed in that sort of metronomic range, then we'll probably allow ourselves to be able to be a bit more experimental with trying to feel that swing in the body, okay? Because um, what can happen and what tends to happen with a few people is that <clears throat> we, we try and create more speed Okay, but what happens is we either start just using a little bit too much leg, so we push the leg out, then we swing the body, or we go the other way and we just open out straight off the front. Okay, so it's just getting that balance of the in-betweenness of, okay, we're moving, we're getting back to the next stroke, we're not really heavy in the stroke, we're just trying to find this rhythm, this continuation, okay, but at the same time, really just trying to hang as long as we can like this underneath these lats and just allow ourselves to sit right back through the stroke Okay, and then just feel that rhythm around the finish and then just do it again and again and again. Okay, but the main focus is really just around these hanging muscles underneath these armpits, okay, because they are just crucial to everything, okay? No matter if we're doing the low rating stuff, mid rating, high rating, it's all about how much we can hang, okay? And as we're not, we, we shouldn't get too tired here, okay? Um, but ultimately... Once we do start getting that little bit of fatigue and everything else sits in, we've really just got to keep focusing on it because a lot of our benefit in our training comes from when we're tired, okay? That's where if we if we stay focused, we keep locked in, we keep the mental side of what we're trying to achieve, when we're really tired, we shouldn't revert back to our old habits, okay? I said it before, it's very, very easy to learn new things very hard to break those old habits okay so once we start getting up into that sort of half an hour zone or even just before it um you know we might we might be starting to tire a little bit okay and so this is why we do some time and we just really try and lock in that form that we're after okay so i'm just going to nick my coffee um and then we're going to get warmed up and we're going to get straight into it okay mm. oh i've got to love it good coffee okay so same as always uh let's just do this nice quick nice quick warm-up okay just really getting really getting our bodies moving a 
as much as possible. And even now, while we're doing this warm up, really feel about our our hands have been switched off around the finish as we increase the length of the slide. We just feel the hands roll around. Nice flat draw. Okay, good. We're starting to get right out to length now. And I just remember, you know, as you start getting warmed up, shake it out a bit. Slowly, remember we're adding to our pressure in the warm up. So once we get it moving, you get the shape and the flow we're sort of looking for. So keep stretching. The zone we want to be sitting in. Okay, so feel that, feel that little bit of a stretch into the calves, into the Achilles. Feel the body's coming forward. Feel the difference. Feel the space between our chest. And our knees. Okay, we do feel the our quads coming onto onto the chest, ab work. Okay. Just remember now, we've just been slowly adding this pressure. To really feel the hang. Thanks, Apple. Okay. So we're starting to feel the pressure. Remember, stay here with our arms, with our hang. Okay. Really feel that connect through the lats. Okay, as we squeeze away. Okay, so that's all we need to do. Get the heart rate up, blood flowing, ready to rock and roll. Okay, so let's get ready. We're gonna uh, just gonna get straight into it today. Okay, so same as always, select workout, new workout, intervals, time. Okay, so let's take that first one up to 12 minutes. Okay, and our, and our rest time, two minutes. Okay, so we're all, uh, should be all good to go. So the first one, we're actually going to go up. We're going to go 20, 22, 24, and then back down to 22, okay, in the three-minute sections. Then we're just going to increase the next one. We'll just go 22, 24, 26, okay, finding that nice, easy rhythm. And then the last one is basically the same, okay, but we go two minutes at 26, two minutes at 28 uh, for the finale, okay? Uh, so really finding our rhythm, finding our flow, locking in on our speed, okay? And then just really working on this hang, okay? Let's let's really focus today around just where we feel our muscles, how long we can feel with this drive, just almost feeling like we're, we're, we're just hanging off these handles all the way through and they're just coming to us, okay? Um, that'll be the real, that'll be our, 
that's our goal for today, okay? Right, so. Here we go. Okay, are you ready? 12 minutes, three minutes, 20. Are we ready? Go. So we should have no problems just finding our rhythm here. Okay, we've got plenty of time on the way forward. Feel how loose we can be. Feeling that stretch. So it's happening by the machine. Okay, underneath the armpit. Staying as loose as we can underneath the shoulders. Okay, good. Remember, we finish the stroke. And we just let the hands move away. Just like that. <laughs> good. Feel that rhythm. Smoothness. Good. Good motion. Nice hands around. Good. So remember, while we're hanging, let's think about the chain being on that plane. Nice and flat. Really trying to make sure this rhythm. So we don't want to be tense in the forearms. We want to be able to just allow the hands to come past the body. Okay. Even though we're not really adding anything, if we're in that, we're on this plane, right from the drive, right through the swing of the stroke, then we can just hold on nice and flat. It's normally a telltale sign just watching hand heights, okay? So, here we go. How many two? Now, if we look at, if we take a moment while you're looking at the screen, let's look at the plane that your handles are on, coming forward and on the drive. You know, if we're, if we're moving our handles a lot, they're coming in and going down. And even on the drive, we might feel them coming up, going low. Just trying to make them come through at that same height that's coming in and out. Okay, and it all comes off our ability to connect right through the whole body. Trying to keep everything very central. Okay, central down the middle, symmetrical with the push. But also, you know, we get into this compression at the front. The handles are at that flat height. So we can connect and 
came. Okay, so try and eliminate any grab as we get out the front. There's a smooth change in direction. A roll around the catch. Okay, should be any heaviness off the front. We're just trying to hang away. Long arms. Okay, good. So that long arms I talk about is as you push away, it feels like your arms are still well out in front of you. Okay, and they just come back with our body swing, with our legs. Okay, we almost forget about it. So, moving up again, remember, just nice and relaxed. Move it with freedom. Now, okay, so breathe into it. Move a lot freer. Now, let's focus. Long arms. The hang. Okay, good. Even just watch it for a minute. Watch your arms. Okay, good. Momentum. Good hang. Okay, really good. Feeling that rhythm. Just trying to stay really relaxed. Flowing with the speed. With our momentum speed. Trying to make it feel as metronomic as possible. Good. Remember this flat draw, hands around. Good. Okay, there it is. It's really smooth. It's relaxed. And it just this 24, a really good one to just think about leaving those arms out long. Okay, we're not trying to produce massive power. We're going for rhythm. So don't worry if the splits are a little bit lower than normal, just keep focusing on our sequence and on the hang. Long arms, under the armpits. Okay, good. Nice and flat. Ready to go down to this one. Now, okay, don't grab it on the front. Leave it out long. Nice. Good flow. Okay, so if we're holding these arms nice and long. Now let's just feel how smooth 
we can sit back through the stroke. Okay, good. That body open out. Lift the legs. And one motion. Okay. From when we start our body swing to when it finishes, one motion. If we feel like we're giving it something through the middle, we haven't quite timed the open out, okay? Hence why we've got pressure against the handle while we're hanging. Just try and feel this natural sit back through the stroke. Okay, good. Bodies getting pushed by the legs. Feel the hang in the arms. Feel the hands. Okay. Feel the pressure, balls of the feet. We feel the pressure in the feet and the hands. Everything else through the middle of the body, the arms, the shoulders, just waiting for that production of swing through the middle. Good. Okay, really good. So nice and controlled. Nice flow, nice rhythm. Okay. <clears throat> so when we're in that when we're going through the middle of the drive, okay, especially pretty much from about here through the middle, what we should really be feeling is, is here and here, okay? So as we drive, we feel, the, we feel the pressure against the feet. We feel everything coming right up through the body and hanging through here. That's why the front arm exercise, if we ever do the front like legs only like this, Okay, you're really just feeling this whole loop, like this big C shape that's holding the pressure through the body there. Okay, and we want to get that going here and then just let it open out through the stroke. Okay, through the stroke. If we start feeling really sort of powerful in one area or really like tense in the shoulders or or tense in the chest or or it feels like I am actually clenching my butt too much okay we're not just adjoining all of these muscles in a nice hang form to just really feel this okay all the muscles will just fire in that sequence all the way through okay and that's what I talk about with the sequence of the stroke everything just fires one after the other creates the momentum and that's just what we're trying to find here okay so here we go on to 22 now okay so we start off by getting this rhythm so this one we're just going to keep moving free Don't worry if you're a split or slow off what you normally are. If we're just trying to find this hang motion, if you've got it and it feels faster and more sustainable, awesome, okay? But sometimes to feel the change, 
We've got to just have the confidence to knock it back a little bit in terms of our pressure. Put the body into a different position. Slightly different focus. Okay. And get the benefit out of that before we start squeezing back onto that pressure. So if we have to push outside our comfort zones a little bit, then so be it. But just remember, we know we're going to be working. Not like we're backing off. And still keeping nice pressure. Just in the way that we're doing it. The focus of the hand, of the rhythm. Nice. There we go. Okay, so trying to make it feel as continuous as we can. So remembering, try not to be tense around the finish. Feeling that change of direction as we draw. As we go from being tense muscles as it drives through to switching off and trying to relax on the way forward. They've been loose. Okay, nice and free with the hand. Brushing the body. Good. Okay, so feel the lats. Feel this hang under the armpits. Smooth. Connection as we change direction around the catch. No grab. Feel the compression. Bringing us to a point where we can pick up that flywheel. Okay. Just continue it on. Okay, so breathing. We're going up two. This one. Now, so just move the hands, feel ourselves coming forward, not after a dramatic change in speed, we're just doing more strokes to feel this hand, okay? Attention to that hang. Okay, let's go back to feeling those feet in the hands again. As the feet push, we feel it being hung in the hands. Body opens out. Good. And just staying really loose. We have to move the hands around the back. That's going to get harder at 26 as well. Finding this hang. Feel the breathing. A 
Alright, that's it. Let's let let's let hang. Okay, feel it flat on the chain. Take a moment. Just look at your chain. Look at your hands. Are they tense? We've got a little bit of room to play with. Flat wrists. Okay, good. The motion. Good. So that's nice. Okay, so we're keeping it really continuous. Not making it too heavy. Remember to let the body open out naturally. Sit back. Okay, as it opens out, arms are in no hurry. Come to the body because they'll naturally get there. Good. Nice. There. Nice motion. Okay, so if we've been nice and loose, nice and relaxed, when we go up to 20 sticks, we're just moving everything a little bit quicker. Don't think about power. Think about freedom. Here we go. 20 sticks. Now, hands. That is our metronomic continuous motion. Not about the power, about the hang. They try and be loose, relaxed. Moving that motion. Hands, feet around. Okay, good. Keeping it loose. Hanging. Breathing. Doing this ratio almost feels just one to one. Pendulum. Trying to stay loose, hanging. Okay, so back to our focus. Armpit, lats, feet, the other hands, hang off it. Okay, feel that armpit. As we push, we do feel like we're pushing away from the hands. And then, as the bodies are opening out and accelerating that chain, the arms will naturally come to us. Good. <clears throat> nice motion.
There it is. Okay, remember, relax the face. Moving free. Just focusing on this hang. Rather than the pressure. Speed will come. Breathe. Hang. Move them around the two. So drop the knees. Okay, good. Nice motion. Really good. Nice, all the way to the line. Okay, good. So, <clears throat> I probably start to feel, especially in that last four minutes, just the pressure increasing. Okay, now, if we were doing that pretty well, heart rate's gonna come up. You're going to feel like you're working quite hard, but more because of the focus we're giving it around that movement there, okay, around our hang and our open out. We're not trying to think about making the machine work today. We're letting the machine work with our rhythm, okay? So we first come around, pick up the front hang, okay, and whatever speed we're getting on screen is basically telling us how well we're getting this, this motion from here, okay? How we're getting the hang, and then through the middle of the stroke, as we're pushing, the bodies are opening out. So remember, initiate here, through the core, lower back, that part there. We don't want to feel that goes first, okay? Remember, the legs do start, but then the body comes right back with it. Okay, through the middle of that stroke, the body is coming back. Remember, body swing, one motion. Okay, we don't want to have a bit of a, a flat come through and then give it again. Okay, the body has to swing in one motion. Okay, right through the stroke. So, good so far. Basically the same on this set. Remember, using our fatigue and our rhythm to lock in this hang motion. Okay, here we go. 22. Now. Okay, so don't think about power in the front. Just feel a natural push. Make sure we're smooth with the turnaround. Compress. Okay, and then just feel that press with the feet. Feeling that hand. Good. Good motion. That's it. Okay, so we're really going to use this hang in this last 11 minutes. I'm not going to think about powering it. We're feeling the pressure against the feet with the hands. Okay, feel that relationship. Hands and body. Taking a look at the arms. Good.
Nice. The motion. Continuous nature of the stroke. And try not to stop at any point. Okay, good. Feel that rhythm. That's slow. Good. Remember that's chain, nice and flat. Always one of the best self-check tools by watching our chain go back in and out of the housing. Okay, the more it deviates off our eye line, the more we know hands are going up, down. And always make a little bit of mark, a little bit of chalk, a bit of tape. Good. So just starting to really feel this sit back through the stroke. It's nice and loose, no tension. We've only got the amount of tension that our hang is creating by leaving our arms out long. Our body, feeling our shape, our core holding. Okay, good. Here we go, up one, up two, sorry. Now. 24. Okay, so we've just done that with real ease. Hands move. Rhythm around the turns. The motion. Easy speed. That's good. <clears throat> Patient, I'm just hanging. As we come forward, we press. Set just before the catch. We use that very end of the compression to naturally change our direction. Okay? We know where we can't get to anymore as our legs just get too, we just can't get any further. Okay, that's our point. Yeah. Come forward, compress, feel the elasticness, push us away. Nice. And just sitting here. In the groove. Moving the hands. Stay nice and flat. Okay, with me, let's feel this hang as we press. Hands to us. the body.
Nice. Good motion. Swing. Feel it. Nice. Okay. So just really zone in on this. Being loose. Armpit hand. Trying to keep any sort of shoulder tension. We're using this metronomic feel and rhythm of the flywheel. Just carry on the speed. Good. So, two more changes. Remember, move free, move loose, focus our hang, here we go. Now, 26. Good, okay, so stay relaxed. <clears throat> Staying loose. Nice rhythm. There it is, nice. Okay, so we're just really metronomic. Back and forth. So when we're not driving, loose. Feel that chain. Draw us forward. Breathing. Hands switched off and relaxed. Good. So we've got this hand. Now I've got a bit of speed towards opening the body. Marry the two together. Staying loose. Breathe. Okay, this is the moment here. I want to stay really loose. Focus. While we are under pressure, fatigue setting in. So, don't get tense. Stay loose, here we go. Up to now. And rhythm. Breathe. Good. Okay, stay long, hang. Momentum around. Handles in and out. Speed in, speed out. Excuse me. Okay, nice. Up and hang, here we go. Nothing in the shoulders, in the traps, get it out. Open the body. Long out. Here we go. As we hang, body opens out. One movement, all the way through. Feel it. Good. It's only 40 seconds. Feel that press. Feel that hang. Everything we've been working on. Got the rhythm. Good. Long arms. Nice motion. Good. Breathe it. Relax the face. 
Last few down to the line. Awesome. Okay. So keep rowing it out. Okay, really, really good. Now, I know how I felt towards the end of that, that, that set, okay? And of the whole workout in general. So, while we're just rowing it down like this now, no pressure, just remember, keep moving. We'll add a little bit more pressure shortly, okay, to help a bit of flush. But just... Have a think about how you felt you focused throughout those sets. Okay, was there anywhere in particular that you actually felt like you had a really nice relaxed rhythm? Okay, a really good flow. Just felt like you were coming, picking it up, tapping it along. Okay, was it at 22? Was it in the second, first, third set? Okay, was it at 24? Okay, I really felt when we went up to that 28 there, I was starting to find a really, really nice rhythm in that last 40 seconds. Okay, just coming forward and picking it up and just really hanging off it. Now, yes, probably because it's 40 seconds to go and we've been focusing more about rhythm throughout the piece and we have about power. Okay, so if we're focusing rhythm, not too concerned about speed, but just thinking overall what we're doing in our terms of our shape, okay? If it's worked reasonably well, and you're not super like, man, I'm just, or feel so awkward because of what I've been doing, you might find that that third set, you really got a good change up between the two, okay? Between that sort of 24, 26, 28, okay? Um, and so just having that recollection right now, Gives you something to think about for next time. Okay, put it in the put it at the front of the pile. Okay, things to work on, things we're doing well. Okay, or things we things we're working on, things we're doing well. <clears throat> and so, just put it up at the top of the pile. Going, okay, make sure that this is what we continue doing. Okay, and that whole workout today was just really just around this hang motion through here, so that we're we're sort of loose. We're not up here, we're not tense. Okay, we're trying to stay really relaxed into here so that we can just we can just push and open out that body. Really understand that this here, this whole shape that we've got here is holding our pressure. Okay, that's really what it comes down to. We can talk about lower back, the legs, the connection, but in terms of it, we've got a profile, a shape, you know, that we sit. Some people are very, you know, might have quite a straight back. Others a bit more hunched. You know, other people a little bit more seat underneath us like this, okay? And we are all different. But it's how we get our own personal shape to be as efficient as possible. Like if we are quite rounded and we are like this, it's just getting us to be able to use our personal shape to the best effect. Now we might be really tall and have really super length and stuff like that. That's cool, okay? Then we use that, that shape to hone in the amount of power that we can hang off personally, okay? But it all comes down to the hang. It all comes down to all of these muscles just interlocking with being, creating the pressure, then releasing the pressure, and then getting set, ready to do it in the next sequence, okay? And that's really just, it is really just the gist of the equation, okay? And so sometimes, like today, I wanted us to just go back a little bit and think about the sequencing and the hang and all the other bits and pieces, rather than just going out there and going, okay, we're just going to work hard today. Like, we're still working hard. My heart rate's still getting up there, but sometimes we can get hung up quite a lot on, I should be doing a better number, I should be doing a better number. Yes, okay, that's fine, but sometimes numbers aren't the be-all and end-all when we're jumping on the machine. Sometimes we have to just 
dial it back a second. Just really go back to the focus on how we're doing it so that when we just keep working on it, next time we can try and hit our numbers. But next time we might hit our numbers in a better fashion or we might hit them better for the first 20 minutes of the piece and then they start to fall off, okay? But without sometimes just going back, having a bit more focus on the form rather than the focus on the actual numbers themselves, we actually get quite a bit of benefit out of that, okay? So that was sort of today's one. Um, just being able to do that more, more than the numbers game, think about the rhythm game, okay? So really, really good. I found personally, while talking about this, I actually found that going up to that 26 in that third and the second set to be a little bit difficult. Okay, I was just quite, I wasn't quite getting my rhythm. I was just sort of holding between 25 and 26 on the on the rate. And so I was like, okay, on the next piece, when we do like 22, 24, 26, I'm really going to focus a little bit more around that 24, the change up to the 26. Okay, and, and it is. That was just my take out of this piece. Other than that, I was really, really just focused on my hang, feeling that rhythm. Okay, now my splits maybe one slower, two, I think at some points, but it didn't bother me because all I was trying to do myself personally is I try and feel this, and I and I mentioned it towards that last one, you know, like we, we can all do it as an exercise, it's just come to a point where, like me, that's about as comfortable as I can sit on the rowing machine right now, okay? If I'm up in here, oh, it just feels like I want to open out. So using that oh, there is one of the easiest ways to gain free speed on the rowing machine, which is what we took, which is what I was saying about coming in and compressing and just feeling ourselves open it out. Okay, and if we just come in and compress and just open it out. Um, we're just using the machine, we're using our bodies, just for nothing, okay? But it allows us to continue that speed going, just moving free and just keeping that speed going, okay? So great workout, team. Um, uh, let's do a couple of chats. Uh, in between workouts during the last two weeks of Refocus Program, uh, my trip's been on fire, is that normal? Or is my hang off? Uh, Ronnie, it could be, it probably is okay. Um, because you're probably just not used to that that motion that you're trying to do. You know, and obviously you're going to have a little bit right up through here. Okay, but if it's really tight right up in through here, up into the neck, as long as you don't feel tension in your neck, I reckon it's fine. Because what happens is if we do that too much up here, we sort of get quite tight up and through the neck. Whereas if we are sort of hanging, yes, you might actually have a really good lat hang, but at the same time, there is a little bit of, of there is quite a bit of hang across the top, okay? But it's only because there's two groups of muscles that are holding the top of your arms, like holding your arms in place. And we can't, like one's obviously the main focus where it's the biggest one that can hold a lot more, but it's still going to work a lot across the top but we just don't want to focus there. So when I talk about it, I'm talking about the hang underneath the armpits. Yes, you are going to feel a lot through here, but we don't want to make that, that the focus. We want to make that the focus, okay? So yes, it probably is just the muscles working into shape, okay? And they and it does take time. Okay, John, high stroke rate is easier to focus on the smooth draw all the way through. Yep, um, and that's the thing is it is, you know, <clears throat> It's just as the as the rating creeps up, it's just easier to feel the rhythm and just keep flowing with the machine, okay? But ultimately, yes, it becomes harder because there's more strokes to do, but more power and all that sort of stuff. But it is finding a nice spot to just really feel this hang, okay? So putting it through a certain uh, like interval or whatever you're going to do in your training, it's good to just change that up so that you can go, well, actually... I just did like half an hour at 20 and I feel just like I was grabbing a bit much, whatever. Sometimes it's nice to just throw in a little bit of, okay, let's do the next five minutes at 22. Okay, cool. And just feel a little bit more freedom and stuff like that. So good that you're noticing that, John. Mark, you're, you talk a lot about keeping hands level the whole time, but when you're in the boat, don't you need to tap down and release? Um, 
Yes, Mark, if you're talking about going, the thing is with being on here compared to being on a boat, okay, like I, I do have, and I just do it because of the rowing days, when I come into the front, I do actually just have this like this tiny little bit of a round motion at the catch, okay, because I know that, yeah, obviously you come forward, you put the blade in and you go, but this is a machine, okay, so you can continue doing this motion and stuff if you want and up like that if you want to make that feel more like what you're going to do when you go on the water. But in terms of is it going to help me go faster on the row machine, I would say no. Okay, so you've got to draw the line between it because ultimately, yeah, we come into here. Okay, what does that do? What's that motion doing to this machine? Nothing. Okay, to us personally for technique, yes, it could be beneficial for what we're trying to achieve. So for you trying to take this from what you're doing here out onto the water, 100%, okay? Feel that rhythm, feel that orange, you know, that, that tennis ball drop down and around as you come forward, okay? And then feeling the hands maybe a little bit lower and then, yes, bring them up a little bit and making sure that when you bring them up, it's just that motion there, it's not that motion, okay? So the hands just come in and they just make that slight adjustment here and then you push, but make sure it's not a shoulder okay so yes use it remember and i've always said it everybody's using these machines for different reasons whether they're fitness okay whether they're for strength building whether they're just they go to whether they because they love it whether they're using it for being on the water whether it's for crossfit whether it's for whatever you want they're all slightly different okay mark so if you're using this to go out on the water then 100 percent Feel that down and around, okay? Feel that, that slight motion that you're trying to make. Exactly what you would do in the boat, okay? You're not, gonna, you're not gonna hit it right in the body and then go around, okay? You're gonna feel that blade coming out and around, okay? Which is what I teach on here. So if we, if we, had, that, if we had that blade just about to come out, okay? And then it goes around like that. So just use it how you would use it out on the water, okay? Uh, Lee, I'll do this tomorrow. Awesome. Uh, rate is my focus now. Great timing for a rate focus workout. Ignore the split. Yeah, Troy, it is. You know, and that's one thing as well, is that <clears throat> is sometimes when we, and, and it was sort of today's sort of focus, I didn't really heavily just hammer it down for you, but we sometimes, all I was really just working on today was let's just work, us, work on that real good hang the real good rhythm of what we're trying to do in the sequence. You know, we might do a workout later on where we're just focusing on this pickup around the front, okay? So we might do a whole lot more stuff of just coming, compress and push away, compress, push away, and that'll just be all I talk about for most of the set, okay? Rather than we're pretty generalized and we're doing the bit of this, bit of that, bit of that, which is cool. Um, but today I was just really sort of thinking that we should just go back to that real just hang feeling, okay? Sometimes we just got to go right back and just kind of focus on it a little bit more intensely. Okay, so hopefully that came out today. Um, but really good workout, okay? Great one, good bit of time, 36 minutes, awesome work, okay? And just had a really great focus on finding that freedom and just really feeling that hang and swing throughout our stroke, which is exactly what we're all trying to get, okay, when we're, um, when we're rowing. Okay, so um, that's us. All the best, guys. Um, hope you have a good week. Uh, well, actually, yeah, you guys still got another day to go. <laughs> I'm going to start my week this morning, okay? It's 6 a.m. here right now. So looking forward to it. Um, just keep it up, okay? Keep working on all the little things, all the little things that can make you better, okay? Be creative in what you're doing. Go back and look at some stuff, you know, mix it up, mix up what you're doing during the days, during the week, okay, um, make sure you get a really good balance between some sort of, you know, good speed work, <clears throat> a little bit of interval, just some good solid cardio work, all that sort of stuff, okay, because the whole mixture of it just creates uh, the framework about being able to do it really well at the end of the day, okay, so thanks team, thanks from me and the Sensei team. Keep it up, keep working on it, okay, and uh, and all the best. We'll catch you guys soon.